Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Axonado Parts. Uh, had a really a good day today. I actually got a guy, bless his heart, he's been here about all day trying to take some parts off of that, uh, what used to be a, a U-Haul truck. Uh, he was gonna take the back of the cab off and uh, I think it's giving him fits. But anyway, uh, last night, and I have tried this before and I just couldn't get it. I am definitely not the most tech savvy um person when it comes to uh the computers and all that type of stuff uh look at there coming back get him some more bacon strips for barney google head um <laughs> uh, <clears throat> i'd had some videos that i had saved on the uh the purchase of the 72 mustang that i've got the fastback it's got the sprint package on it and barney i'm trying to make a video well, can you give me a minute? Can you give me a couple minutes? Okay, thank you. And uh, so, trying to transfer what was formerly a Facebook Live uh, video. <clears throat> Hang on, son. <laughs> he has no patience. He thinks just because he walked back down here, he should get something. So, let's, uh, let's get into his... Uh, bacon strips I'll give him something here right quick sorry for the interruption uh, here buddy now leave me alone kid you're back at me and so <clears throat> anyway I had these videos of when I went to look at the car and we made the deal on it um, getting the car out of the barn yada 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 and it was just I couldn't figure out how to take what was a formerly a Facebook live video. I'd saved them, uh, but getting them put over into my, my, uh, photo album. So then I could take them out of that and post them on YouTube. And, uh, so last night where I got this new phone, I thought, well, maybe there's something different and maybe there wasn't, I just couldn't figure it out before, but, um, I kind of got to Googling and I pulled the videos up and, I don't even remember what I hit, but one of them moved over. And then I was like, I told my wife, I said, dang, I done it. I done it. So then I went to the second one. <laughs> I couldn't remember how I done it. So it took me a little bit. So when I figured out the second time, then, um, uh, I'd done the third and the fourth. So I think I still got one that I need to get downloaded. I got to check. So what I want to do is, um, uh, put these together. Um, you know, and I probably was holding my phone upright back then, so I don't, the video may be small. I don't know yet till I run them through my uh, um, producer thing I've got to edit it. Uh, but it, it was something that, you know, these are four year old uh, videos, so uh, I was wanting to get uh, this for him, had a YouTube channel. So I was wanting to get uh, <clears throat> get them on. So I finally figured out how to get them moved over into my, in the spot where I can post them on YouTube. So that being said, uh, this will be kind of the opening on it. So, uh, I appreciate, uh, everybody. If you take the time, want to look through these, uh, I'll try to put them all together. I might have a little something silly in between the two of them or three of them or whatever. And then we'll come back on the end and talk about it. Hey, good Sunday morning to everybody. Uh, made a trip to Crab Orchard. Me and my good friend, Barrett Boner. What's up, Barrett? Uh, we've talked about this car for several years. Barrett finally got a hold of me the other day, and and the family was ready to, to let loose of it. It's been in the family. Barrett, do you remember? I know they're like the second owners, I think, of it, wasn't they? Yeah. They, uh, they drove up to Michigan and bought this in the... Late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, I think they said like a doctor or something owned it or yeah. something. But best of my memory, but <clears throat> but they owned it ever since then. And uh, and then and throughout time, a family member uh, ran off the road and wrecked it a little bit. Shortly after they purchased it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and it sat outside for a while. And I was one of many that was said they'd like to have it, but then it disappeared. And I thought it was gone, but it got put in the barn. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's been hiding in the barn for a little over twenty years, probably. Yeah. Uh, between 20 and 25 years, it's been sitting right in this spot. 
Well, folks, those of you that may not know what it is, some of you will, but it's a 1972 Mustang. And it's, uh, they only made them three months, from best of my knowledge, from like March to June of 72. And it was in commemoration of the 72 Summer Olympics. So it's the Sprint package. They've done them in <clears throat> the Mustangs, the sports roof, the coupes, and the convertibles. They also made a Pinto and a Maverick with the same paint scheme. And as you can see here on the front, uh, it's got a wee bit of damage. But, uh, you know, it ain't nothing but uh, fixing the subframe and getting... The, fenders and hood and bumper and actually I've done got a uh, a grill for it in anticipation that I would end up with it someday uh, I traded the guy out of the grill and uh, it had a um, uh, Barrick's grandparents actually put a Mach 1 grill in it because it looked better and it did because of the honeycomb design the original grill is still in it but I found a Mach 1 grill and so that's what I've got laid back for plus the windshield's got to be replaced but uh, just a really a uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of the Mustangs out there, but as far as the option goes, it's pretty rare because they didn't make them, but like I said, for three months just to promote the uh, the Summer Olympics. I know it's dark in here, but I'm just trying to trying to give you an idea. You know, the motor and stuff is still in it, <clears throat> but uh, white with kind of a turquoise blue and with some red red pinstriping. And if the door opened, it did years ago. The seats. It's kind of the same way, white with the blue inset with red piping, but just an automatic in the floor. Uh, <clears throat> got a little bit of dust on it, but that's what I like. And a few things that we got to move. Actually, the uh, yeah, he he's gonna bring out his little flashlight, but the uh, <clears throat> the grandparents. See the inside a little bit yeah. Anyway. There you go. Yeah, you know, kind of see it a little bit better. There's the original grill back there, but uh, just a cool car. Uh, one that you know if i can find some front end parts and what have you but uh <clears throat> when i was here six years ago next month be six years uh grandma brought a picture out of when they first got it and it had those appliance wheels over there <clears throat> all the way around on it <clears throat> it was just a super sharp car now they hadn't got them yet because they actually Barrick said they'd repainted it i think right after they got it but there's a uh, right here on the quarter in this area there's a decal that looks like a shield but the american flag and that was one thing that they hadn't got back on it yet but you can get those reproduction uh, actually jamie i think my grandpa had told me for years that he's got the decal package yeah for the car somewhere <clears throat> okay. so when i start cleaning the garage out here over the course of the next few weeks okay i'm hoping that's one of the things i find yeah. and i'll get that too. i knew that was one thing that they said they hadn't got on it right before it got wrecked but uh it's just a, it's a cool car, cool story, you know, great family. I can remember Barrick's dad driving this. I'm assuming that, you know, when, when he was in high school, uh, he was a little bit older than me, but I can remember seeing this car around. And I think it was a, uh, I think it was a graduation present, this one was. Yeah. So it might have been right after he got out. Okay. But I, I remember seeing the car, you know, around town and, uh, but Barrick got a hold of me yesterday and, uh, and said they was ready to. Uh, give me an op the opportunity to buy it, and which I have. I got to pay him for it, but uh, then he'll smile even more than he is now. But and then get a row back over here, uh, ASAP, because I'm 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 all geeked and stoked at the same time about this one. But I just want to do a little bit of a video on it because I think that's a I'm gonna kind of try to document this car along the way and start doing this with some more of them. So a '72 Mustang Sprint, uh, been a native of Crab Orchard for many years. And about to make the move to uh, Halls Gap. So uh, I appreciate Barrick for remembering me and thinking enough of me to call me back. And then, uh, so there you go. You can see her back in there. Uh, we'll get this thing out here in a few days, hopefully, and get it get it to Halls Gap. Y'all have a great one. Mm-hmm. You're learning so many important things. And I'm so proud of you. Okay, so back in Crab Orchard with my, my brother, Rod Man, the Odd Man. And thanks to his help, we've got uh, a lot of this stuff moved out of the way and got the old Tahoe back in here. My hopes and dreams and plans is to at least get it outside the barn where the rowback can then drag it up the bank there and get it loaded. So You want to unstable the Mustang? Yes, the Mustang's been stabled way too long. And uh, so we're going to try to get this thing at least out up in front there and angled toward that black Ford truck so that the rowback can get it because they're calling for more rain uh, maybe moving in. So we're not as lucky as those people up in Ohio, they don't, or Ohio, 
they don't have to worry about hard work and rain like this, do they, Mark, Mark Tobin? <laughs> but uh, hey, knee high. But anyway, that's where we're at, what we're doing. And hopefully we'll have another little video here in a minute. Okay. Well, Facebook Live, there's Robert, best looking rollback driver in Lincoln County. And here we are. We're gonna try to get the Sprint Mustang out before all this rain and stuff comes back in. So, so far so good, but hopefully it won't sketch up the yard too much. Uh, been in that barn for right at 25 years. And so, we're getting it out. Hey, yeah, we're good. Not only is he the best looking, he's the best rollback driver, he says. Of course, I'm going with what he says on both of it, that he's the best and the best looking, so. But, uh, look at the, look at the rim where it sets so long. It's done rusted off. It was sunk in the ground in the barn. But that's okay. And I think I've done found me a donor car. Hey, Robin Jones. I think I've done found me a donor car for the front clip and stuff. So that's going to be good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, have a lot of fun. That's what we're supposed to do. But, uh, anyway, we'll let this and go for a minute. I'll help him get it loaded. And then uh, we may start another one here in a little bit. Thank you. all Well... Leaving Crab Orchard, uh, been over here for, since about 1982. Uh, yes, I know the front end is messed up on it, but I knew that when I bought it, but it is what it is. It's uh, one of 3,086 Sprint Fastbacks, and uh, still got the 351 Cleveland in it. And uh, from the firewall back, really is not that bad. And I think I found a donor car with uh, some subframe and fenders and hood and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I got the best looking rollback driver, self-proclaimed Robert Rayburn. Uh, got up there hauling it. So we get back to Stanford. We're gonna stop at the car wash and I'll spend about five or six dollars and see how much barn dirt and dust that I can get off of it. But. Uh, I talked to grandma and before we was leaving and she told me how much she loved the old car and she kind of glad that I got it. And so I don't know, you got to try to save them guys and gals when they're, when it's possible, you know, you can't just let them all get crushed out and all that kind of stuff. You got to save them, do something with them. And like I said, it took me about six years to finally get this one. I just, I didn't bother them. I just reminded them every now and then that I'd like to have it and uh, my patience, but yet persistency paid off. And so from Saturday, getting the, <clears throat> the text about it and then going paying for it Sunday, and here it is uh, Tuesday and I'm heading home with it. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'll be posting more stuff about it, showing the interior and lots of things like that. But, uh, and, and then hopefully by the end of the week, go look at this donor car that I might be able to trade for that supposedly has got all new suspension and brakes and like new fenders and whole nine yards. So uh, get a good donor car, start putting it all back together. That's, I guess that's what it's all about. At least I got a brother that knows how to do all that stuff. I just I just want to go out and buy them and try to get Rodman to fix them. But uh, anyway, leaving Crab Orchard for the first time and golly probably 27 28 years is actually leaving crab orchard going to stanford when it was wrecked so hopefully we'll get it to hall's gap this time all right y'all have a great one but you see that sucker over there zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds all right this will be the last one today me and robert ran it by the car wash and uh foam brush all that good stuff but uh Got a lot of dirt off. Now that lower quarters right in there is bad a little bit. Right in that blue, some spots, which all that front's coming off of it. Uh, roof, really not all that bad. But we're setting that barn for so many years. You see those rusty spots where the water just ran through the roof on it. But uh, 
Uh, kind of got the back end of it there clean a little bit. And a uh, couple wheels finally broke loose and started rolling a little bit. Uh, so I've got to get me some rollers put on it where I can try to get it moving around. Like I said, we just more or less focused from here up because that stuff's got to come off of it. This door's probably not been opened in, well, the whole time it's set in the barn because it's up real close to the wall. So I've got to work on that. The other one will open, but it hits the fender a little bit. But uh, I wanted to kind of show you some on the inside just real quick. But uh, uh, I can get it opened up some since it's kind of in the daylight. But you all get the gist of the, the color scheme. White panels, blue rest, and then the blue and white seats, automatic in the floor and all that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's going to need some stuff. I know that, but you know, I'm still, I'm still excited about it. And, uh, I guess that's the main thing. I'm, I'm easily, look at that. I'm easily entertained. Uh, it don't take much to make me happy, but, uh, anyway, uh, for those that's not seen it, 72 Mustang sports roof with the sprint package, uh, one of 3,086, uh, family in Crab Orchard had owned it since 82, 83. They bought it. They bought it from the original owner. So I'm a third owner on it, and uh, like I said, all of that's going to come off eventually here before too long, and uh, and then kind of go from there. And when it would, if it dries up and warms up, and I get some wheels on it, tars wheels where I can move it out front, then uh, I'll try to clean up inside and check the uh, uh, floorboards and stuff. But Robert Rayburn uh, just done a phenomenal job getting it out of the barn. We didn't even hardly tear the yard up, and uh, he jumped up on the row back and helped me wash it real quick with the foam brush and stuff. So, uh, again, almost six six years, uh, and I finally got it. Like I said, it don't take much to satisfy me, but I'm just tickled to death. Crystal loves it, so that's always a good thing when the wife likes them too. So, uh, there it is. Now I think I'm ready to go in and uh, eat me a snack. Uh, I've worked up an appetite. So, uh, thanks all of you all that has made comments and watched and <clears throat> and everything else and viewed the videos i want to try to start doing this more on some of this cool stuff uh just so i can keep up with it and document it a whole lot better but uh you know it's a project but uh hey if i had twenty thousand, i'd go out and buy a real nice one but i don't so we'll start from where i got y'all have a blessed night and uh talk to you later so there you go there was the the 72 mustang uh fastback sprint package uh as you heard me say in the video they made 3086 of the fastbacks uh the real rare ones was the convertible mustangs they only made 50 of those and i don't know how many of the coupes or grandes or whatever they called them um and of course they even done a pinto and a maverick in that but it was a, a summer olympics of 72 so they made them from like march to june and they were basically white with a little bit of blue and a red pinstripe the interior was more white with a little bit of blue and the red piping and it's supposed to have a decal on the quarter panel it's kind of like the shield uh about as big as my hand with the bars uh, the stripes and the stars on it <clears throat> um and i've got a picture i may try to get it off my phone and i may try to drop it in there to show what it looked like because these people would have had it repainted uh, and it was running some 15 by 10 appliance mags that, that's, that looks like the SS Kroger on the back and sixes or sevens on the front. Uh, beautiful car. And then it got wrecked. And this is one I remember from kind of my youth running around town where I grew up and just always thought, man, that thing's awesome because it was the only one around. Now, there was nobody else had the Sprint uh, Mustang around here. And... I remember when it was wrecked, it set out in the yard at these people's house, and then it disappeared. And I'd actually gotten a um, Opal GT from a buddy of mine's then father-in-law kind of across the road and was talking to him. And I said, man, there used to be this car set over. And he said, I think it's still in the barn. And lo and behold, that's where it was at. So uh, I appreciate it. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And I'd like to ask you to subscribe. And as always, I will catch you in the next.